the magic is gone, according to uh, an advisor. Um, when you say the magic is gone, is, he's saying he's not gonna be able to get it back. Um, and he is right now the only person running as a Republican for the 2024 uh, president, the presidency in 2024. The difficult thing about a campaign that is just really about a personality, right? Is that even if it were uh, to be run in a really um, common sense way, it was really well run. Uh, would it really matter if the personality that the whole thing is built around, that the entire political movement is about, um, if if that personality is not really on on his game, if he's like lost his mojo in some way? Lost his mojo in some way. That was Olivia Nuzzi, who is a correspondent for New York Magazine. Talking about her recent scathing piece on Donald Trump where she quotes individuals in his innermost circle who do in fact think that Trump has lost his mojo and is currently running a failing campaign for president in 2024. Now the piece did not sit well with Trump for obvious reasons. He doesn't like any negative coverage on anything he does and he usually attacks immediately. And this is definitely no ex uh, exception. But before we get into uh, Trump's attacks toward New York Magazine and Nuzzi, uh, why don't we talk a little bit about the piece itself. It's titled, The Final Campaign Inside Donald Trump's Sad, Lonely, Thirsty, great word, thirsty, broken, basically pretend run for reelection, which isn't to say he can't win. Okay, interesting. So Jake, I'm gonna go to you right away. Cuz before we get to Trump's reaction to it, do you think that's an accurate interpretation of what's happening? And again, this is based on people in his innermost circle. I think everything is driven by media. And so it doesn't have to be fake news for it to still have an agenda. So is everything Olivia saying and writing there accurate? Yes. Uh, is Donald Trump thirsty and uh, leaning towards crazy conspiracy theories and his desperation, etc.? Yes, but let's be honest for a second. That's how he's always been. Mm -hmm. He was born thirsty. He bankrupted himself in Atlantic City because he wanted three different casinos to have the name Trump on it. He's a child and he's always been everything that Nazi describes him to be. It's just now the media is painting it as pathetic loser. <laughs> and so now all of a sudden they're saying that he's losing momentum and thereby creating the situation where he loses momentum. Now, if you're saying, but wait a minute, didn't the mainstream media always hate him? First of all, no, before the 2016 election, they gave him enormous coverage and a lot of it was positive. Afterwards, they did attack him. But the right wing media had his back and no matter what happened, the right wing media would tell you, no, whining like a little baby is what strong men do. Going bankrupt is what really smart businessmen do. And they would say these things in a such a powerful gaslighting way that it worked, it worked completely. But now right wing media has joined mainstream media in painting Trump as pathetic, so now he is. That's right, I think what really made the difference is right wing media starting to promote Ron DeSantis rather than Donald Trump. Right wing media being far more critical of Donald Trump's behavior lately. And you're seeing the impact of that in the polls. We've talked about several polls where the majority of Republican voters are now looking forward to voting for DeSantis as opposed to Donald Trump. And it's interesting, Jenk, I was just in Florida for the holidays and I was talking to people there about, oh, what do you think about Trump versus DeSantis. I mean, you guys seem to really like DeSantis here in Florida. So would you want him to run for president? And they either love the idea of DeSantis running, they're exhausted by Donald Trump, they're sick of the drama and they just wanna get away from all of that and just have a Republican who's, I guess who doesn't have as big of a mouth, but still wants the same things. And then there were some Republicans in Florida I spoke to who said, no, we don't want to lose Ron DeSantis to national politics. We want to keep him here because we like him so much. Now, remember, Florida is a pretty red state. People still refer to it as purple, which I don't understand. It's a pretty red state at this point. So that's where you know the voters are coming from. But again, that's just anecdotal evidence. The real evidence is reflected in the polls that show Republican voters now wanting DeSantis over Trump. Now, in the piece that Nuzzi wrote, she also talks about this is I thought this was the funniest part. He's been kind of like cooped up 
like bitterly cooped up in Mar-a-Lago for the past 28 days, <laughs> like trying to escape the world, which I get it. Um, some more details, she explains that though his 2016 campaign gave him a platform to build his uh, MAGA cult, his recent troubles, uh, including January 6th, the election lies, multiple lawsuits, all these investigations have taken away from his public appeal. Um, how many in his inner circle fear that Trump's campaign is weak and the ex president is quickly losing influence with no possible way to get it back? Now many, not how many, now many are. Now, uh, one advisor said this in the piece, quote, when he was in New York in 2016, the whole world was coming to him. Now we've got the villages and it shows. Yeah, the villages is a senior citizen center basically in Florida. In Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and guys, the relevant part of this story is that it is it like insiders have leaked about him a thousand times over, right? But not like this. Uh, they might uh, do a snipe against someone else within uh, the Trump world. Uh, they might do a snipe, a, a small one to get a favor from a reporter, etc. But this is basically insiders, and he doesn't have that many of those left. Turning to a reporter and saying, "Yeah, the guy's kind of pathetic now." And that one hurts. Um, so here are a few other comments. Uh, an ex-Trump loyalist and former White House official. By the way, these guys, like, of course, they're they're giving anonymous comments, which is annoying. But this person says it feels like he's going through the emotion, the motions, because he said he would. A Trump advisor also said it's not there in this business. You can have it and have it so hot, and it can go overnight, and it's gone, and you can't get it back. I think we're just seeing it gone. The magic is gone. Oh God, I love it so much. So Trump loses his mind over this piece. Uh, so let's go to this post on Truth Social where he says, the fake and corrupt news is only getting worse. As an example, I agreed to do a short telephone interview for a once very good, but now on its last legs and failing New York Magazine. The reporter was a shaky and unattractive whack job known Jeez. as tough but dumb as a rock who actually wrote a decent story about me a long time ago. Her name, Olivia Nuzzi. Anyway, the story was fake news. Her anonymous sources don't exist, true with many writers. And I'm happily fighting hard for our great USA. Jenk, final words? Yeah, he can't help himself from being a pig at all times. So yep. uh, everything that is complimentary of him is real news. Everything that is uh, tells the reality of his life is fake news. Uh, and if your reporter was nice to him before, he'll give you another uh, interview. Um, and there was a nice little admission there in the middle. Um, and then uh, if you report honestly about his foibles, he'll say you're not attractive. Because that's how he thinks. Mm -hmm. And and by the way, all this time, the right wingers have loved that when he attacked women as unattractive. That was not uh, a bug, that was the feature. They enjoy that part. The part they're not enjoying is him being a loser. And that's where yeah. white media has got him now. And it is going to be very hard to get out of that hole. And it's not magic, it's media. Well, he also called Nuzzy dumb as a rock, which right wingers typically don't have a problem with. But Nuzzy didn't like it. She didn't respond with words, but she did respond in a way that I appreciate. She just posted this picture featuring Donald Trump looking at the sun. Without protective glasses on. That was during the, yeah, that was during the <laughs> eclipse. It's a great picture because everyone knew as soon as he came out into the patio that he was going to look at the sun when he shouldn't. Okay, and he did it anyway because he's a dumbass. Him calling someone dumb as a rock, the most ironic thing you could imagine.